Bernie Budroy. And I'm Jack Amber Tim. And we are going to show you something neat on uh, Rinky Dink Renovations. That's right. Rinky Dink Renovations is a show where we show you how to do stuff and we, we try to help you learn how to help you know, take care of your house and things like that. Yeah, we learn you, we learn. Today we're going to show you some basics on how to remove light fixtures. That's right. A lot of people have old light fixtures in the house they just don't want anymore. They want to pull down and get rid of. Yeah, that's right, Tim, and we need to go over some safety precautions before we get started yanking things hard. That's right! Uh, uh, it's time for What's the Norm, and I'm, I'm Norman Norstadt, and uh, we're going to go off uh, list some, some safety precautions for the next job. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, number one on What's the Norm is... As before yanking, uh, you definitely want to think about it. Uh, think about yanking. And uh, uh, number two is uh, wear rubber gloves. That's that's always a good idea. Get better grip that way. Uh, number three uh, is if it hurts a lot, it might be hot. Okay. And uh, uh, number four on what's the norm is use a safe ground. Uh, remember, wood is good. Okay. And, uh, and and finally, we have uh, if your tool gets wet, then uh, stop immediately. You want to stop it right there, okay? All right. Holy bastard! And you you know you want to make sure that we're, if nothing's hot before you start pulling on things real hard, might bite you. Right. There's only one bulb thing in this fixture. So well, well, can you get it out? I, I can't. I, I, I can't quite reach it. You want a taller ladder? I got one right here. Uh, well, no, 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 I don't need a ladder. I, I think I can reach it. How? I, with my tack hammer. Uh, water damage is also a big deal. You want to make sure you, you don't have places that can... Uh, what, what do you know, Bernie? What you want to... Uh, you want to avoid anything that, uh, that attracts fu uh, fungus and mold and rust. Right. And things. Right. A lot of people have metal storage shells and things like that, and they're just a, they're just a magnet for rust, and, and they're, they're a rust magnet, and things can get all over the place and make a big mess. And, Tim, you're absolutely right. Rust is the enemy here. That's right. I mean, when, when rust comes into play, I tell you, that, that's one visitor that you just don't want to stay. You want to kick him out. Yeah, there's a bunch of uh, filthy uh, mold and mildew in there. Tim, uh, Tim, that's just some dirty dishes. Why don't you just do them? I ain't gonna do them dishes around here. We're talking about getting rid of mold and mildew and stuff. When rewiring your house, Tim, you want to make sure, uh, we're, we're going to explain to the viewers, you want to make sure all the wiring's nice and neat and tidy. Yeah, that's right. You know, when, when uh, you want to make sure, if you want to, if you want to have, uh, you never, you never want to have three of any two different kind of wires in a house where there's two or less wires because things get untidy and, and out, of, out of order and it's just never a good idea. And you can check out our website for more details on that. That's right. And one other useful piece of information about that, keeping wiring clean, is to replace all your gas appliances and furniture with natural gas compatible units. Tim. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You got to do that kind of stuff too. Well, hi there, Tim. What have we got going on today? Well, you know, we're talking about getting everything on uh, on gas, and then, you know, so I got all the. This is the main kind of brain center of the house, and I ran all these lines. I got everything. Now we got the kitchen gas fed, the microwave gas fed. We got the the refrigerator gas fed. We got the sink gas fed. Everything's gas fed in the house. We even got the entertainment center gas fed, the TV and whatnot. So everything's you know good to go. We're on, we're on gas now. Well, that's fantastic, Tim. And that's uh, you got this all tied in now to the main natural gas line. Huh? Natural gas? What are you talking about? I just ran a garden hose out to the truck's gas tank and siphoned an awesome gas. Plumbing is another challenging area which, uh, I don't know, Bernie, I don't, I don't think we're going to have time to get into plumbing right now. I don't, I don't, I don't know about you, but we're not going to have time to do that. Yeah, I agree, Tack Hammer. Tim, I think we might just leave that to, uh, to another day. Now, Bernie Budroy, you know, is a journeyman uh, plumber, uh, uh, entrepreneur in every area of home improvement, and you'll find that out. You certainly will. I'm going to show you everything I know. 
It's essential to have all the correct tools within your reach and in access at all times. Yeah, tack hammers are important. You never want to go anywhere without your tack hammer. I find that they work almost as good as a regular hammer and sometimes better. Mm-hmm. And it's also good to keep as many tools within reach of where? Where is that, Bernie? Where is Within reach of? Yourself. That's in right. In your hand. Uh, we also want to make sure that uh, um, keep tools next to your person when you're on or off the job. On or off the job. That's right. Well, hello, Bernie. What do we got going on in here? What, Tim? How are you? Today we're just revitalizing the 75 square foot section of uh, solidified linseed oil on a standard canvas backing. Uh, ain't that just linoleum? Well, sure, Tim, if you just want to dumb things down. I do, I do. What, what kind of tool are you using? Well, this tool here is a specialized device consisting of some nylon stiff fibers connected to a cylindrical handle. Well, wait, wait, wait. We're talking about a broom? Well, again, Tim, if you just want to make things sound stupid. Well. Uh, Marty, are you just in here sweeping the floor? Oh, jeez, you got me there, too. <laughs> and one final thing to consider is uh, enjoy yourself, enjoy your work, enjoy your house, enjoy the materials, enjoy the tools, and enjoy it safely. Safety is a key. That's right. We want to thank you for joining our program, and uh, we must remember that safety should be forefront in your mind, forefront right there. Forefront in the mind. Before you think of anything else, Safety ought to be on your mind in the brain, in the in the beginning of the brain in the mind. And thanks for watching our show. I hope you see you next time and see you next week. Okay, goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs>